and welcome to Nani Notes. Here we have a really fun problem. We've got an analyst where we know the length of the tangent chord, in this case 20 meters. Hey look, it's tangent to the wee circle and it's chord of the big circle. Now we're going to find the exact area of this analyst. That's kind of cool because you know what? It doesn't matter whether it looks like this or like this. It just doesn't matter. Huh? Don't believe me? Let's find out. So we know a couple things. First off, the tangent part. Tangent perpendicular to the radius at the point of tangency. I'm going to call this radius r. And that's the little r for the wee circle. And then we're going to say, well, since the tangent, well, and since the chord is perpendicular to the radius, it bisects. That radius bisects the chord. Ah. So that's really all we need as far as theorems. And the rest just takes care of itself. After all, we know the area of the analyst is the big circle minus the wee circle, right? It means we chop that one out. Now that would be really convenient if we happen to know both the radii, that is the, the wee radius and the big radius, R, the capital R. Well, that would be really easy because we would say, well, I guess, what would we say? Um, we'd say, yeah, pi r squared minus pi r squared. Well, that'd be great, but we don't know these radii. And the fact is, it doesn't matter. Really neat. I'm going to, um, I'll put in a new variable here. I'm just going to call this b. And that's going to be, well, that's going to be half of the tangent chord. So that's just from here to here. And you see what we're, where we're going here. We have us a right triangle. See it? Beauteous. Now, um, no, where was I? Uh, oh yeah, we're going to factor this expression a little bit first. We're going to factor the pi out of there. And then we're going to change our direction over here. Now, since Pythagorean theorem gives me this, r squared plus b squared equals big R squared, well, yeah, that looks kind of cool. And then we're going to do a little subtraction. We subtract the smaller radius from both sides, the smaller radius squared from both sides. Now right there you're probably thinking, eh, so what? Until you look at this expression right here and say, wait a minute, that's the same expression I've got in this and over here. So that means I can substitute. I can substitute big R squared minus R squared for B squared. You ready? B for boom shakalaka. That's it. The entire area of this analyst is simply going to be half of the tangent chord, which we're calling B. In this case, that would be 10 meters. And I'm going, and I'm going to square that. And let me see. So 10 meters, uh, no, that's 100, 100 pi. And that means that we've got 100 pi, oops, I should say square meters. Sorry about that, everybody. Let me put the little two up there. There. And pi square meters. And that is the exact area, whether it looks like this or whether it looks like that. Amazing. Hope you had fun too. See you back in class.